um, because of time, um, we're going to go straight to the book review. And today we have two special guest reviewers, Pastor Taye Ari Ari Moro. Ari Moro, please. Um, apologies if I didn't pronounce that name correctly. And uh, Mr. Edmond Obilo. But I'll be inviting Pastor Taye Ari Moro first to do the first review. Afterwards, um, Mr. Edmond Obilo would um take over. So Pastor Ari Moro is the pastor of Crown Reformed Assembly, Ogba, Lagos. He has been a longtime friend of the author and fellow minister in the Reformed Christian tradition. And um, Mr. Edmond Obilo needs no introduction. His, his voice, his name precedes him. He's a radio man, a popular radio anchor at Slash FM, Ibadan. He's known for his deep analysis into political issues, bedeviling the Nigerian state. So um join me as i make welcome pastor taye arimoro to do the first um review for 10 minutes or less please after with after with um words mr edmund Obilo would would um would would take over pastor taye please are you here sir pastor taye sorry arimoro yes yes here, sir? Yeah, okay thank yes, you very much sir. yeah All right, let's, sir. Be sure, okay. let's be sure that my audio is clear because the last speaker we have to choose Yes, I can hear you, but I'm not sure. I was supposed to see you. Yeah, my my. So I, I oh. congratulate uh, Pastor Deji for the authorship of this book. Uh, we we thank God for the grace, uh, the skill, and the wisdom that God has given to you to write. Uh, truth is, you like him or you dislike him. Pastor Deji has become one of the most powerful voices on the social media today. Uh, He's always there defending the practice of uh, true Christian faith within the, the Nigerian space. He's clear and uh, unapologetic uh, bias towards the Reformed theology. His insistence always on the right Christian uh, orthodoxy has made him the toast of many believers in this country today. And of course, I must add that uh, he's obviously been looted by many others. Uh, without doubt, for many, Deji Yesufu is uh, nothing but a troublemaker, uh, an interlooper, if you, if you say that, whose delight is just in messing up other people's ministry work. And if you doubt what I've just said, you only have to get to page 322 of this new book and get to read, you know, one of uh, his, the articles there where we read of uh, his one-man stand protest against uh, Pastor Johnson Suleiman. Now, on the set day, my brother at the UI campus had a placard that read, listen to Suleiman and go to hell. And, and, and another one says, you know, three song is not biblical. I, I, I tell you, only a Deji Yusufu could put such, uh, such strings. He got arrested for that daily act detained at the police station but thank god within minutes got raised an army you know of christian faithfuls who marched to the station to uh, rescue him and got him uh, released so that th this speaks to the boldness and the courage of the man a very passionate man and you get to see all of this in his writings if he's not pointing us to or warning us of the dangers and errors of false Bible teachers is challenging our conscience, is telling us to do the right things, challenging us towards nation building. And I must also add that um, his love and pursuit for history and his passion for the defense of biblical truth are some of the virtues that have endeared me to him over the years. I, I know I have, you know, 10 minutes, so please permit me to use maybe the next four, three minutes that is left to speak on uh, an aspect of the book Humanity. Now, the book Humanity is, uh, uh, is a compilation of over a hundred very interesting and, may I add, very bold and intriguing articles written by the author. Chapter six, you know, of the book consists of articles on Nigeria, a Christian perspective on nation beauty, and how to manage our interpersonal relationships within the context of a very diverse nation as ours. Buru Buru, 
my trip to Enugu is one of those excellent articles in this chapter that brings to the fore, really, the impact of uh, our ethnic, cultural, religious diversity on our inability to foster relationships that can improve our coexistence and progress as a people. The reality really is that we live our entire life interfacing with uh, fellow humans and how we interact in these interpersonal relationships determines the quality of life we enjoy as a people and as a nation. And one obvious fact that you, you get reading this book is, is that our diversity in this nation is truly beautiful and, and a truly a blessing from God. Uh, unfortunately, when this diversity is not managed well, when it is not even well appreciated by the people, it becomes abused, perverted, and becomes even the source of all the relational challenges we battle with in this country. The, the, the paradox, however, is that it, it is this our interpersonal relating that creates most of the difficulties we have in life. And these challenges are at the root of the difficulties we face in this nation. Uh, so managing these relational difficulties becomes a must if we must progress as a nation. Now, in, in the scriptures, Jesus made it his priority to teach us how to relate in every type of relationship. The Lord made it clear that if we are to live in a peaceful harmony with one another, it requires us first to look into the state of our hearts. Proverbs chapter 4 verse uh, 23 tells us that the moral conduct of life, its actions and, and proceedings, they're all determined by the conditions of our heart. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 17 now also states that the heart of man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Uh, unfortunately for us, while we always look to dressing our, our outward behaviors, at the root of all our relational difficulties is the state of our heart. So uh, at the core of all the challenges, the relational challenges we have is the, this issue of sin of the heart. And only God can really help fix this deceitful, this wicked and depraved state of man's heart. So how do we deal with this big elephant of a problem challenging our coexistence and progress as a nation? Or how do we pursue as, you know, uh, Pastor Deji encourages in this book, how do we pursue and promote equality, justice, and progress in a diverse nation as us? We turn to God, because only he can deal with the same issue of our heart and enable us to live and relate with his perfect love. Uh, the love of God sent Christ into this world. It is God's love that brought Jesus into the world and he brought the love of the Heavenly Father with him. He demonstrated this love to us while we were yet sinners and died for us. We're grateful that Jesus rose from the dead, sent his Holy Spirit so that all those who will accept and receive this love have the love of God pour into their hearts, soul and spirit, so they can love even as he loves. I believe that this is the key, this is a solution to all our relational issues so that we can relate out of a heart that is pure, out of, the, out of a heart that is saved by the Lord. It is then we can only, I believe, be able to tap into the blessing of, uh, you know, of our diversity for the progress of this nation. Let, let me conclude this short address by again commending the author for this initiative, you know, writing a book as this is, is a no mean task and it is not for the faint hearted. The book is obviously a must read for everyone and I heartily recommend it to you all. And so big congratulations to my brother, Pastor Digi, on a successful book launch. And I pray 
that the Lord will grant you many more years of faithful, you know, fruitful writing that will bring much godly impact on our nation and our people. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Ari Moro, for that uh, brief and concise uh, review. Very brilliant, I must say. Thank you very much. Um, before our next.